Hi, welcome back to MRTV and welcome to a video about the Vive XR Elite and check this out. I'm dressed to the occasion as you can tell. I want to tell you one thing. I want to tell you about the one thing that HTC could do that would directly give it an edge over the Quest Pro and the Quest 2 and even also over the Pico 4 even though this device is much cheaper just as the Quest Pro. Now, actually, I have two things that they could do so that they would have an edge and they could sell so many more devices, but they wouldn't have looked so good in the title of this video. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to tell you both because I know you also want to know yeah, what ideas I have for HTC. So let me start with the one thing that I believe is super simple for them to do and they would directly get an edge over Meta and Pico. Why don't you allow people to make it easy to stream their gameplay to YouTube and Twitch? Yes, it is so simple, but it would directly give you such a huge advantage because, well, on the Quest 2 and on the Quest Pro, you cannot do that. And guess what? On the Pico 4, you also cannot stream to YouTube or Twitch. And probably the reason is, well, those companies, Pico, they actually want to push TikTok, right? And Meta, well, they want to push probably Facebook or whatever, but they don't do YouTube. However, we all use YouTube. Right now, you're watching me probably on YouTube, right? So just by allowing this functionality, you would have so many people who would advertise the device. You know, you could put a watermark Played on Elite, played on XR Elite, and make it as good as the function of the PSVR 1 to stream to YouTube. Because when I stream with my PSVR 1 to YouTube or to Twitch, I can see the chat in VR. And I love this functionality, right? So simply by doing this little thing, you would automatically broadcast your VR experience to so many people. And I'm telling you, if this was an actual functionality on the XR Elite, I would use the XR Elite to stream, to try new games, right? Because if there is a game that is on the Pico 4, on the Quest Pro and on the XR Elite, but I can stream with the XR Elite and have like a communication with my fans, <laughs> with my fans, with my audience, <laughs> hello fans, then obviously I would use the XR Elite and it shouldn't be so complicated to make it happen, right? So, dear HTC, that is, I believe, the one thing that you can do to easily get more people excited about your headset. But that's not all, I have more. Actually, I believe those $1,099 and, well, more, including taxes, that obviously is a problem. People would rather go for the Pico 4 or the Quest 2, right? Because, well, $1,000, $99 plus taxes, that is quite a bit. And then you still have to buy all the games and such, right? So directly from the beginning, for most people, they are priced out. But you know what? How about the great Viveport Infinity store? Viveport Infinity is that um, kind of Netflix for VR games where you pay, I, I believe it's like $15 or so and then you can play as many games as you want. Now, this store is incredible. It's fantastic also for newcomers, right? Because you pay that money and then you can simply try out the games first. So, especially for those new to VR, they don't know yet which game to play, right? And they don't have a library. They don't have a library of games that they already own on Steam or so, so this is so good. And this is something that this is one of the advantages that HTC has over Pico and over Meta. They have this kind of uh, Port Infinity um, all you can eat store. <laughs> Let's call it like this. And why not use this advantage? Why not have it cross subsidize the hardware? So, for example, what they could do, they could make people. Uh, sign a contract for two years to use that Vive for Infinity and well, not for $15, but let's say for $40 or $50. But this cross subsidizes the headset, right? So 
they pay like probably $40 each month on top of the Viveport Infinity fee. Like, okay, so probably $50 or $49. But then they would get the headset for much, much cheaper. So let me simply calculate that. So 40 times 24, that is already $960 that they could earn like this over two years. And that kind of kind of already offsets that $1,099, right? So you could probably say you pay those $50 a month and you pay like $99 for the device now for the XR Elite. Yes, I think that many more people would go for it. Instead of paying this $1,099, okay, they pay $40 or $50 a month. They get this super sexy device and they get all the games, all the games. So I believe this is a really good model. And of course, you have to think about would the game developers say yes to such a model? Because probably in the beginning, they would get less money instead of like um, getting the full price or 70% of a game's price. But well, if very few people actually buy the device in the first place because it's too expensive, then I believe on the long run, this model where lots of people buy the XR Elite with this kind of subscription model, then it will also pay off for the developers who put their games onto Vive Port Infinity. Yeah, I really like this idea. I really like this idea and um, I hope that the managers at HTC who make these decisions, they could think about it. For sure, the first one, you must do it, dear HTC, right? Allowing us to stream it is just such a good idea, right? It's it's a no-brainer, you, you need to do that. The second idea, I understand it is more complicated to make it happen, right? To, to figure this out for all the different countries, but I do believe it's worth it. You can start with a few major countries and, and um, run a test balloon, see if it works, but I believe it could be a really, really interesting model. Basically, it's simply selling the device on installments, right? Makes sense, does make sense. So I hope that HTC would consider these ideas, in my opinion, good ideas. <laughs> yeah. And um, I, I really hope that this could make them think about it at least. And I would love to know, what do you think about my ideas? Do you believe that, yes, these are good ideas? Do let me know in the comment section below. Would love to hear what you think about it. Other than that, I'm really looking forward to check out the HTC XR Elite, HTC Vive XR Elite. I believe it's like a really cool form factor and I would love to try it and um, see how people react in the public. Me wearing this and me wearing the Quest Pro or the Pico 4 in public and let's see the difference. I hope this would be coming up really soon on the channel. That is everything that I got for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. I'm looking forward to see you in the comment section. Until then, bye-bye.